Okay, still no one like this. Oh, you're here. I already have this recipe, right? Yes. Hi. That's all you gotta do, Luca. Come on, I'm begging you here. Uh, Gantz, why do I specifically need to be the one who cheers Marlo up? Like I said earlier, I'm sure his recent funk has nothing to do with me. I wouldn't be so sure. To be honest, it has everything to do with you. I'm still not following. I'll tell you what, Gantz. Pay off your mountain of a tab and maybe then I can help you out. Wait, huh? How's that got anything to do with this? Quid pro quo, my dude. Marlo's bound to feel better if Luca can just give him a few words of comfort. I gotta persuade her somehow. Who is Marlo? Who the heck is Marlo? Well, now we gotta find this Marlo guy. Great. Could be literally anywhere. Hopefully I don't have to go into the mine to find him. Are you Marlo? No, you're Carlos. Do you know a Marlo? No. What about you? Still no. Do you have anything in here I can steal? Like a recipe or a book? No? Okay. You are Alec. Bilma. I am on a mission. Because I got distracted. Like I said, I wouldn't. <sighs> it was bound to happen. Do you know a Marlow? I heard an enormous monster was spotted up north in the mountains. That's not too far from town. What if another one shows up in the mine? Our miners aren't prepared to deal with beasts like that. No one is. No one is. Not when they pop up out of nowhere, at least. Marlo. Where are you? Hi. Kimmy, I don't get this independent stuff is about, but Daddy says it's a good thing, and Daddy's always right. Hi. Bakery? Bakery? Definitely not Marlo. So Crossbell and Independence came up at the trade conference, huh? Well, that's an idea. That new mayor of ours has got some real moxie. It's about time we stopped rolling over for the Empire and Republic. Okay. Pretty sure I already bought the punching bag. Hmm. Marla? No, this is Miranda. Alec wants to become a miner, no doubt, because his father is the mine chief. Frankly, I'm against it. Still, as a parent, I want my child to be happy. At the very least, I need to keep him safe until he's old enough to make the decision himself. Yeah, stop letting him wander into mines. That'd be a good start. Chee doo doo. Here I am again in mines, the site of my most recent hiking failure. But I've learned my lesson. I'll train my legs and glutes for as many years as it takes to clear these mountains. Maybe it won't be today, but it'll happen. I swear it. Okay. You do you, I guess. Are you Marlo? <gasps> we found Marlo. I don't have enough motivation to do anything. Luca probably hates me now. I don't even want to show my face at the bar. Guess I'll just wrap up work and... Head straight home today. Oh, this was disappointing. Well. We succeeded in finding Marlo, but it wasn't... fun. Yes. Okay, car. Let's go to... Actually, now that I think about it, does eating at the... Places in either gate count as an eatery. 
I had not considered those. Oh, it does count. Okay. Hey, Brandy. And I see you brought the SSS along too. Anything I can get you? Hiya, Stella. We're actually here on business, you see. The SSS explained their mission to gather gourmet recommendations. Now that you mention it, I think that rings a bell. Here, I'll serve you up some of the bellyful hot pot I usually make for the guardsmen. So the bell guard unit likes hot pot too? Who knew? Who doesn't like hot pot? Hot pot's delicious. My appetite is wedded. Wedded? Okay. Glad to hear it. Sit tight and I'll bring a fresh pot right over. Lloyd and the team ate the bellyful hot pot. My, you can almost feel it warming you up from the inside. It doesn't skimp on the meat to make room for all the vegetables either. You couldn't ask for a more nourishing dish. CGF training can get pretty rigorous, and guardsmen need filling food like this if they want to last. It's no wonder. We often have hot pot parties, but everyone always ends up fighting over who gets the biggest chunks of meat. When Randy was here, he would even sneak bites from other people's plates. I'm not surprised. Why am I not surprised? A guy's got to take care of himself, you know? Okay. You don't have anything I can steal. Oh, are you still staring at that worker? The tension around here these days is wearing me out. So wait, my shining Stella is watching me. I'm going to stay sharp. Wouldn't want to risk looking sloppy in front of her. Okay. Consider not sitting there staring at her all day, every day. And I think you'd be in a better place than you are now. Pretty sure we already got this cookbook. Yeah. Oh, Randy was buying you jewelry at Michelin. Did he give it to you? How's it hanging, Warrant Officer Murray? Working hard or hardly working? You know very well the answer to that question. Honestly, Randy, I told you just the other day that I was promoted to second lieutenant. Ignore him. Congratulations on your promotion. Thank you, Sergeant Major. It feels nice to be moving up, but it also means I'm going to be saddled with additional responsibilities. I'll just have to buckle down and apply myself even more from here on out. Even more? Like you aren't walking around with a stun halberd up your butt already? Oh, Randy. Oh, Randy. Not how you woo a woman. You're gonna get burned out if you keep that up. You gotta learn how to chillax. Be as cool as the other side of the pillow. I don't recall asking you for life advice. Or I don't recall asking for life advice from the local moron, Randy. But thank you for spoiling our pleasant conversation. <laughs> Promotion or not, some things are never going to change, huh? By the way, where's that gift I bought for your promotion? Aren't you going to wear it? Oh, he did give it to her. You know that shiny little thing I picked up at Michelin? Oh, that's right. You were looking at brooches while we were there. Be reasonable, Randy. You should know I can't wear something like that while I'm in uniform. I'm a ranking officer of the CGF. It's too flashy, so I put it away as a keepsake. I mean, I stuffed it away somewhere out of sight because I couldn't stand to look at it. That's right. I bet I just tossed it in the back of my desk or something. You're blushing, Murray. Cute. Anyway. Now that I've been promoted, I plan to devote myself to the CGF more than ever before. I'm going to have to if I want to be at least as useful as to the commander. That was really cute. Randy and her make a cute couple. If Randy stops Randy-ing. Crosswell can't ignore the potential threat these mysterious cryptids pose. Unfortunately, due to the political climate, the CGF must focus on our state borders. 
I'm counting on all of you to spearhead the investigation in our stead. We won't let you down, Commander. That's it, okay. On to the next place then. Can I still, I can't still go downstairs. Okay. Oh, my car, right. I don't need to take the bus. To... Hmm. Let's go to Tangram. And then we'll do, um... We'll do St. Ursula. This looks like... Hayworth's car. Maybe not. Good for you. Just a tourist? Okay. I did not mean to talk to you a second time. Hello, Sergeant Major Seeker. Visiting with the SSS today. Yes, it's good to see you, Mr. Temis. Sorry for the bother, but we're actually here for a support request. The SSS explained their mission to gather gourmet recommendations. Ah, yes, I do remember hearing about that from the news service. Our specialty here at Tangram Gate is the Tide of Plenty Hot Pot. You get to eat it as a group. So you serve a mean seafood hot pot here, huh? We'd love to try it. Sure thing, sit tight while I go whip up a pot. Lloyd and the team ate the Tide of Plenty Hot Pot. Hmm, this is quite flavorsome. Yeah, you can really taste how fresh the fish is. That's the idea. Hot pots are easy and delicious, so we make them a lot here at Tangram Gate. Eating around a table together always puts the guardsmen in a fun, lively mood, too. Now that I think about it, I've never had a meal like this with the Testaments before. Maybe I'll bring them here next time I get the chance. For real? You want to take your downtown gang to a border gate? to eat hot pot. I think I know who liked this dish the best. Perhaps we should let Wazy handle the review for it then. I was hoping to weasel my way out of doing one, but I guess... I... I'm going to assume the word I is supposed to be there, but I guess I don't mind too much. Okay. Did I already get this? Yes. This is not the direction I meant to go in. All righty. Yes. To Saint Ursula. And it's just Ellie, I think, that needs to pick a dish. So hopefully she picks this dish, and I don't have to try and find another place to eat at. Hi. Hey there, and welcome to Le Lectier. Can I help you eat a meal? Help you to a meal? Sort of. We're from the CPD Special Support Section. We're here about a request we received. The SSS explained their mission to gather gourmet recommendations. Oh, right. The gourmet guide. Someone from the CNS did get in touch with me about that. There's just one problem. What do you mean? The dish I'm offering needs a lot of time to cook properly, and unfortunately, I just plump ran out. So sorry, but I'm afraid you're going to have to wait until I've whipped up another round. That's a bad break for us, but if there's no dish, there's no dish. Pardon me. How much time will it take before a new batch is ready? Let's see. I just started on a new one last night, so... It should be done about 48 hours from now. Come see me the day after next and I'll hook you up. It simmers for three whole days. 
Those must be some rich flavors you're drawing out. I look forward to tasting the final products. Oh, you're gonna love it. Just don't forget to drop by again once it's done. Um. What? Okay, this one is long. So, I guess we're stuck waiting. Hmm. So much for a short quest. Yeah, I started one I literally can't complete. What a rude quest. At least we're already at St. Ursula, so I can talk to Arios and Shizuku. That's something. Okay. I guess let's get to talking to people. And then I need to pick another quest. Hi. I've noticed that Linton is always off helping out with surgeries or making rounds around the hospital. He's on a completely different level than a freshman like me. Linton has been working at a hundred cells an hour ever since what happened to his last supervisor. It's driving him half to death. You need to remember to be patient. The only way to improve is to study, study, and study some more. Um, I'm pretty sure actually participating in surgeries is potentially better, or at least equal to studying. Hands on experience is always a good thing. Might as well check these all while we're here. Nothing to steal up here. That's on if uh, Ursula is uh, sleeping or not. Oh, she's not in here. Good for her. Wait, what? What? I hope I already got that and not that I'm missing it. Because that would be unfortunate. Can't interact with the picture. Okay. Hello, Sarone. Mayfa was tearing up, tearing up bad the day Michael was discharged from the hospital, so I lent her my big hanky. I thought it worked at first because she stopped crying, but then I realized she was giving me a really nasty stare. I mean, what kind of thanks is that? And she didn't even give me it back afterwards. Michael's gone? I don't get to see Michael again? What the heck? I'm told that the SSS has taken on the cryptid investigation. My apologies, such matters are typically under bracer jurisdiction, but with me being away from the guild right now, knock it off. You don't need to worry about that. It's still a joint investigation, not like my kids are biting off more than they can chew. Trust them to take care of things for today, at least. So you say. Come on. You know as well as anyone how much they've grown this year. Besides, you should be enjoying this time together while you have it. You don't get to do this nearly enough. If you ask me, a dad's place at times like these is right beside his daughter. I'm in your debt, Sergei. Thank you, Chief. It's very kind of you. Pardon us. The SSS? What are you guys doing here? I told him I'd be coming alone since all of you are supposed to be busy today. Sorry about that, Chief. Technically, I did come here on police business. You cannot be mad at me. I came here for a request. 
We wanted to check in on Shizuku ourselves. Thank you for visiting, SSS. I am not really used to her eyes being open. Oh, Shizuku. I've never seen you with your eyes open like that. Does that mean your sight is back? No, not exactly. Dr. Salen did everything that she could as the operating surgeon. On paper, the procedure was a success, but her vision has not fully recovered. All that has returned thus far is her ability to perceive light around her. That's so. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't worry about me, everyone. I'm okay. But since you're all here, would it be alright for us to all take a walk to the roof together, Father? That'd be nice. I was just starting to think it's a little crowded in here. We could all use some fresh air. But Shizuku just had surgery. Shouldn't she be taking it easy? The doctor said her condition is stable so long as she isn't exposed to strong light for an extended period of time. Seeing as today is a little overcast, there shouldn't be any issues with taking her outside. I'll inform the staff. Would you all help Shizuku out of bed and make sure she's ready to go? So the Divine Blade of Wind has a soft spot for his darling little girl. Add him to the list, I suppose. He's always like that. Father is a kind man once you get to know him. Yeah. And now we can go for a little jog, skip, and walk with the guy. We're up for it. I'm excited already. <laughs> 